Hello, hello. Hi, Danilo. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you today? I'm working. I'm working this moment. Oh, yes, I, I can imagine. How is your day going? Is it busy? It's full of activities to do? It's very busy. It's very busy. I can imagine. How about yesterday? What did you do yesterday? I went to the... Mm -hmm. Where did you go? Cementerio. Al cementerio. Oh, okay. Let me look for that specific word. Who did you go with? ¿Con quién fue Danilo? Who did you go with? With my family. With my family. With your family? With my, with my brothers. Oh, yes. Okay. Interesting. After mm -hmm. I went to... <laughs> okay. Hello, teacher. Hi. Welcome back to your class. Yeah, there's a way to say cemetery in English. Cemetery. But I remember of another word. But yeah, that's very close to the one that is cemetery. Mm -hmm. Rosy, so I went to the cemetery. You went there. Okay. Was it full of people? I, I guess, right? So, so, so. So, so. Okay. Yes. So, that's amazing. So, um, in my case, I just stay home. That's what I did yesterday. I stay home and I had a lot of activities to do, you know. Um, awesome. Yes. Activities from work. At night, I went to visit my mom because she's... The only work uh -huh. uh, Not really, uh, no. Okay. No, no, you no. You have another work. I have another one, you know. Oh. This is my lunch time, actually, from one to two. So my case, same. <laughs> same to you. So I'm in my yes. lunch time. You are in your lunch time, but I'm as a teacher and you are as an student. So this yeah. is what we do. <laughs> where where do you work? Um, you know the this is an office. I don't know if you have heard about uh, Creana. Creana, it's a company from. Uh, Peru. So no, I no, probably you haven't heard about that one, but it's from Peru and we work from home. That's why I have the, the chance to. What do to, you do in this company? Um, those are, um, I work uh, like as a manager, you know, supervising a group of teachers. Uh, they create um, courses, not English. Teacher courses. about what? English. Different oh, no, types. No yeah, they speak English, you know, developing the courses, but are any type of courses that you can imagine. Cooking, <laughs> probably <laughs> projects <laughs> about <laughs> uh, <laughs> engineers who want to <laughs> teach, <laughs> doctors, lawyers. So it's a very nice, very nice project, you know. And I love How teaching. How many times do you want to you have in this world? How many times what? How many times do you have in that world? Ah, ah, I how much time I spend? Well, I do my schedule. Sometimes from six a.m. to four a.m. Oh, I start like working very very early so I can finish early as well. I don't have like a fixed schedule. Yes. But uh, uh, do do you have eight hours? Yeah, eight eight hours a day. Sometimes from eight to ten hours. That's what I do. So yeah, a hey, great conversation. Yeah, thank you, Jorge and Manuel are in the class already. Hey guys, nice to have you back. Hi, Jorge. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, guys. How how is your day going? Uh, great. It's great. All right. Yeah. Perfect. My day is calm. Okay, it's calm. That's interesting and very nice to hear that. How about yesterday? What did you do? Yesterday on Mother's uh, Day. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, relax and you relax okay uh i uh i sleep uh, mm -hmm. today you slept late all right you slept late perfect and you teacher i stayed home i just stayed home that's what i did yeah uh, uh, mm -hmm. it's Celebrate uh, uh, with your mom. I did. I celebrate. Uh, celebrated with my mom at night. I went to visit my mom, and we ate pizza because that is what she wanted to eat. Uh, delicious. That was it. Was it was delicious? <laughs> yes. Excellent. So, Manuel, how about you? What did you do yesterday? As you may see, we are practicing structures. Mm, what yesterday. did you do mm -hmm, yesterday? I, mm, well, my family mm -hmm. go to a restaurant for, for the more day. I oh. meet my mother. And okay, okay. It's pupusas. <laughs> really? That's delicious. It sounds delicious. You ate pupusas, okay. Was yeah. that at night or during the day? Uh, during the... Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. afternoon. Noon. Noon, at noon. Okay. Yes. All right. Interesting. So you spend time with your family. All right. Hey, guys, you see, you are improving. Now we can have a regular conversation. And this is part of the class in which... You try to practice what we have been doing. If you remember, we have been working with this type of verbs. Probably these are the ones that we need to practice a little bit more, irregular verbs. So during the conversation with Manuel, Jorge, and you, Danilo, we were practicing some of these verbs. For example, you were asking me, what did you do? And I was telling you, I went, went, okay? That's it, I visited. I ate, comí, yo comí, pasado de eat. Entonces, ya ven, eh, lo están haciendo muy bien. Estamos dejando que nuestro inglés surja, fluya, que todo fluya. Bien. But that's amazing. So, class, I don't know if you had the chance to watch the previous class. La clase anterior tuve... Eh, Wendy, estaba Wendy, yeah, I guess it was Wendy and another one. No sé si tuvieron la oportunidad de revisar la clase. Si no, yeah. hacemos, you did, okay? And if you may remember, we were like making an exercise. It wasn't a speaking practice in which we were practicing the use of was and where. Okay, hagamos uno más. Let's make another one. Presentaba la clase, ahora ustedes that if we want to make affirmative, negative, and interrogative statements using the verb to be in the past form, these are the formulas that you need to follow, okay? Affirmative, you need to have the subject, verb, in this case, the verb to be in the past form, that is going to be was or where, and a complement, the same formula as the simple present. In this case, simple past. What is it going to change? The verb in the past. Se parece mucho al presente simple. Ahora solo que en pasado. Take a look at the negative form. Why do I consider the negative and the interrogative form the easiest part? Porque es la parte más fácil. Miren, la negativa y la interrogativa. Because we are going to use auxiliary verbs. In this case, tenemos el not. O la forma negativa de were not, weren't. Y en el caso de las interrogantes, que muchas veces solo las redactamos en afirm forma afirmativa. But we can also have examples with negative form. 
using was or were. También pueden ser con wasn't and weren't. But it's not that common, you know? So, in that case, con el verbo to be, ese es el cuidado. Yes, tell me, tell me, Manuel. What is your question? Teacher, uh, in the case when I use uh, I, okay. the, well, I use was or were. Ah, in that case, it's was. When was. are you going to use was with I, he, she, and it? Mm -hmm. Okay. And with the rest of the subjects, you are going to use where? Okay. Because the verb to be excellent. Great question. Buena pregunta. You, we, and they, we are going to use where? Okay. But Take a look at this one. Si se fijan, solo son preguntas. Uy, ahí redactamos mal la anterior. But the, but the mm -hmm. other case is was. Is was, yes. Vamos a corregir. Estas solo pueden ser preguntas que tienen que ver con el verbo. Cuando yo consulto sobre si estuviste o si eh, fuiste. Del verbo ser, obviamente. Solo ese tipo de preguntas yo puedo utilizar el verbo to be. Veo algún auxiliar por acá. We don't have an auxiliary verb. Why not? Because we are using the verb to be. Verbo to be es tan completo que no necesito auxiliares. Es muy independiente le llamaría. Okay. Verbo to be. ¿Qué ejemplos tenemos acá? Preguntas o... Oh. Afirmaciones y negaciones con el verbo to be. Vaya, complemento esto. I. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No, tell me, don't worry. Oh, the, in the platform. No sé cómo se dice. Es, tiene unos. Bueno, unos ejemplos sobre eso. Uh -huh. Ok. Oh. We have, we have examples. Uh -huh. Oh, ok. Um, the platform have some examples about this topic. Uh, yes, we do. We have two type of examples. We have this first part, questions in the past using the verb to be. And we have the other group of questions in which you are going to have the auxiliary verb do or does. Hay dos tipos okay. de preguntas en pasado. So this is just the first part. Yes, we have, which we do. Okay, what information can I ask? I was <laughs> born here, yo nací. Okay. I wasn't born, yo no nací. Este sería quizás el único verbo en que nosotros podemos combinar el verbo to be y un verbo adicional. Born, nacer. Es necesario, estos son in inseparables. I was born, I wasn't born. No nací, yo sí nací. Los demás se llevan un significado eh, bien único del verbo to be. Si se fijan, no tenemos ningún verbo. Después de was and where, en los siguientes ejemplos, we don't have another verb. No hay necesidad de otro verbo, solo con el verbo born. Ahí sí, es necesario <risa> combinarlo con el verbo to be. Es como la excepción, le llamaría. Después, el verbo to be es independiente. We don't need to have an extra verb. ¿Ok? In the interrogative form, as you may see, these are just no questions. Entonces, entre en el grupo de preguntas de sí y no. Practicábamos en la clase anterior y decíamos, where were you born? ¿En dónde naciste? ¿En dónde naciste? Solo que ahí, si se fijan, estamos agregando una palabrita extra. 
¿En dónde naciste? I was born in El Salvador. ¿Ok? Vaya. Ya vamos a la práctica. No sé si hay alguna duda con esto. The bird to be in the past. ¿Cuándo lo voy a ocupar? ¿Cuál es el único no. verbo o la excepción? Deception. El verbo born. Siempre acompañado del verbo to be. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's clear. It's clear, I guess. Ok, so let's make this exercise. Vean que tenemos acá un ejercicio. Tengo los diferentes sujetos. I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. These are the ones, or some of these, are going to be the answers to complete the statements that we have. ¿Cómo sé entonces cuál va a ser el que yo voy a utilizar? Number one, you need to know about the subject if you know the subject there easily you are going to know the correct form of the verb to be so ya lo mencioné anteriormente um, completemos entonces pasado del verbo to be i ah in past en pasado was i was perfect you were you were perfect you were he was He was, she. Was. She was. She was it. Was. It was. It was we. We were. We were and they. They were. They were so. <clears throat> Identifiquen el sujeto en el primero. Who is the subject in number one? I was hungry right now. Ajá. Pero, ajá. Pero qué pueden ver por ahí. Because I, I was hungry right now. The right now is in this moment. Exactly. So, ¿cómo lo completo? Mm, okay. I am hungry right I now. I am hungry right now. Ah, muy bien. ¿Ya vieron ahí los pequeños detalles? Aquí están, miren, estoy comparando presente y pasado. Lo que les acabo de decir. Vamos, number two. I Look for the correct form. Last night. I was? Okay. I was sleeping last night. I was sleepy. ¿Y qué quiere decir esta oración? I was sleepy. ¿Qué es sleepy? Dormir. Mm, okay. Sleep es dormir. Cuando le agrego la Y, Y at the end, ¿cómo sería la traducción de esto? Sleep es dormir. Sleepy. I am sleepy. Cuando digo, ¿cómo estás ahorita? I am sleepy. No estoy dormida. ¿Qué será que estoy como queriendo decir? Como con sueño. Ajá. Como con sueño. O también sería adormitado. O con sueño. Sería la adaptación. Entonces, ¿cómo estaba anoche yo? I was sleepy. I was sleepy. I was sleepy. ¿Cómo lo adaptarían me ustedes? Estaba, no, me estaba durmiendo. Me estaba, muy bien, me estaba. Ya el verbo to be toma, toma el sentido de estaba. Estaba con mucho sueño. Sleep that night. Ok, how about here? How are you going to complete this one? My family and I born in El Salvador. Ajá, muy bien. ¿Se acuerdan de esto? Necesito el verbo to be siempre. Was born or were born. Were born. Why were and not was. Because it's not just one person. Exactly. This is the plural form or plural subject. They and me. We. We were born in El Salvador. Okay, next one. What do you think about this one? We have two statements, dos oraciones. How are you going to complete this one? I was born in the USA. Uh -huh. I wasn't born here. Oh, probably. And according to your information, si fuera información de ustedes, personal. Oh, I wasn't uh -huh. born in the USA. I was born here. Ah, so you're American. You're not, right? Entonces, yes. clase. Negamos, hacemos una negación. 
I wasn't born in USA. ¿Qué significa that I was? I was born here. ¿Ok? ¿Dónde nacieron? In El Salvador. I was born here. Ok, questions about the use of was and where. This is what you need to be careful of. Expressions like right now, today, okay, that they are going to make us know that we are expressing statements in the present. Examples or expressions like last night, yesterday, the week before or the day before, those expressions are going to let me know that I am expressing ideas in the simple past. Eso es lo que tenemos que tener cuidado. Expresiones que me indican si es presente o pasado. Muy bien, aquí estamos. Easy, quite easy. Qué fácil este ejercicio. Tengamos uno más. Estamos haciendo todo un repaso, si se fijan, de lo que hemos hecho. Comparemos entonces. Let's make a comparison. Tenemos dos grupos de preguntas in the simple past. Ok. Bueno, dos tipos de preguntas en el pasado con el verbo to be, porque tenemos igual, hay una extra en donde ocupamos el auxiliar do or does. En pasado, did. Entonces, corrijo quizás ahí la expresión. Dos tipos de preguntas en el pasado utilizando el verbo to be. ¿Cuáles son? Aquellas en donde solo necesito el verbo to be. La excepción, el verbo born. Que ahí va pasado de be más born. Y el resto. O en la segunda categoría en which I am going to have a WH word. ¿Se acuerdan de las WH words? ¿Cuáles son? Where, why, when, what, who. All right. Or here do you have it. ¿Quién me ayuda a leerlas? ¿Para qué? I want to know the... Ocupo tal palabra cuando quiero saber. El o la. Ok, ¿quién me lee la información? Todas estas. Who, where, when, why, what, which, and how. Who is a person. Ok. Um, where. Eh... Is use position places. Okay. Uh, when uh, is use time or uh, occasion? The moment. Occasion, occasion or moment. Okay, right. continue. Oh, uh, why? Mm -hmm. uh, is use reason expand. An explanation. 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 Excellent. What specific specific thing, object, uh, which uh, is used choice? Choice. Choice. Um, alternative. Okay. How uh, is used way? Way. way okay. Uh, Manner. Manner and form. form. Okay, exactly. If I use who, thank you. I want to know about a person. Quiero saber sobre quién, una persona. Remember who, no podemos ocuparlo con objetos. Animales, lugares, no. Si quiero saber sobre una persona, solamente puedo usar who. Si quiero saber entonces sobre objetos, lugares, look, tengo una palabra específica, sería what. Para personas, who, quién, eso sería qué. Personas, objetos, animales, todo. Si yo quiero saber where, en dónde se encuentra un lugar o alguien, I'm going to use this one. Este se abarca todos los objetos. Went. 
when lo utilizo con el tiempo. When are we going to finish the class? ¿Cuándo? Lo puedo expresar con tiempo exacto, una hora, una ocasión, que serían expresiones o momentos. That's it. Why? Why is it raining? ¿Por qué está lloviendo? Que necesito una razón a mi cuestionamiento o una explicación. Which? Which puede ser con personas, animales, objetos, todo. Que necesito averiguar? Una elección, the choice, or an alternative in which I am going to pick one of the options that I am given. Which, elijo una opción de las que me estén dando. How? Personas, lugares, animales, todo. Las únicas que son bien específicas es who, para personas. What, no puedo ocupar personas con esa Palabra. Okay, look at the examples that we have here. Where was he, she, it, or I? Y un complemento. Okay. Para ser más específicos, aquí están los ejemplos. Why was he angry? ¿Por qué estaba enojado? Where were you yesterday? ¿A dónde? Tuviste o estabas ayer. When was she nervous? ¿Cuándo estuvo nerviosa? Ah, for the interview, por la entrevista, estuvo nerviosa. Who were those people? ¿Quiénes eran esas personas? Así que acá se parece mucho la fórmula a la anterior. Sujeto, verbo, complemento. Pero como es un interrogante, acuérdense, ahora vamos a tener una WH word at the beginning. Verbo to be, sujeto, complemento. Pero vámonos a la práctica. En la práctica se hace mucho más fácil la información. I have some questions in which we are going to practice about this information. You are going to ask your classmates the following information. Look, the one that we have in blue. Where did you grow up? Where were you born? ¿En dónde creciste? ¿Y en dónde naciste? Vámonos, speaking time. Preguntémosle al último que me aparezca por acá. Ok, no sé si Oscar está por ahí. Hi, Oscar, are you there? Vamos a responder esta. Okay, probably he's not there. How about you, Manuel? Are you ready to participate? Right. Where did you go, guys? Jorge, how about you? Hi. Okay. Are you ready to participate? I'm ready, teacher. Always ready. Excellent. That's the attitude. Um. Jorge, where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? ¿Entendemos o comprendemos el verbo grow? Grow up, clase. Analicemos. Yes. ¿Qué es grow I up? Grow, I grow up Salvador. Ok. Mm, ¿Qué ve por acá? Tenemos una expresión en pasado. Did. ¿En dónde creció? Mi respuesta afirmativa. I grew. I grew. I grew. I grew. In, in, um, Japan. Japan. Really? Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> you grew up in Japan, are you sure? <laughs> Konichiwa. Konichiwa. <laughs> but touch but... Ay, chico, yo también daba clases de japonés. Vaya. I grew up in. Where did you grow up? <laughs> in San Salvador, in my case. In San Salvador, yo también. I grew up in San Salvador. ¿Quién más? ¿Dónde crecieron? Vean la diferencia. Nacer, crecer. Crecer con cariño. No, nacer es como nacer con cariño. Crecer. Crecer, crecer también, ¿verdad? <laughs> Ambos. ¿Dónde crecieron? Es la primera. Where did you grow up? Danilo, where did you grow up? 
I grew up in San Salvador. In San Salvador too? Okay, yeah. amazing. Okay. Teacher, uh, yes, so. really uh, growing up in uh, San Vicente. Who? Who grew up in San Vicente? You? Yeah. Ah, okay. Really in San Vicente. And where do you live right now? Um, you live in San Salvador? Yeah. Oh, wow. Amazing. Eh, Quien quiera carne de chucho, me avisa y lo llevo. Yeah, please, please. <laughs> Yo quiero. I want to try. <laughs> ¿Es eso cierto o es un mito? No, that is true. Es cierto. Es cierto, en serio. Yes, Bien, yes. Yo, solo, yo solo he pasado por el de bio, pero no, no estoy segura. I'm not quite sure if, if no. it is dog's meat or not. I grew up and where were you born then? ¿En dónde nacieron? In the same place. Same place, all right. I was born in the same place in San Salvador. Casi siempre cuando nos pregunta en dónde naciste, um, no se refiere quizás al país, a menos que estemos en otro país, ¿verdad? O que seamos de otro país. But in this case, yes, we give that kind of information. The place in which we were born. No el hospital, el nombre del hospital, sino el lugar, probably eh, the department or the, the neighborhood, probably. I don't know. Yeah, tell me. Uh -huh. ¿Dónde creció? Where did you grow up? No, ¿dónde nació? Where were you born? I was born in Salvador in my place. In your case, all right, interesting. Ya tenemos una práctica con where, en dónde. ¿Qué más podríamos ocupar? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué te convertiste en un estilista? Because it's my passion. Baby. It's my passion. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you become a teacher? Me preguntará. Why did you become a teacher? Mi historia es muy peculiar. ¿Por qué soy una teacher? I didn't want to be a teacher. I didn't you want to. Not really, you know. <laughs> Do you want me to tell you? But I'm going to say in English so you understand. A ver si, si no en español. With my, I have a sister, and we are just one year older apart. Nos llevamos un año, right? We studied always in the same place, in the same uh, grade, mismo grado. We were together always from first grade up to high school all the time together with my sister so when we went to the university and we had to choose the career we make a raffle <laughs> saben que es una raffle no cuando tuvimos que ir a la universidad hicimos una raffle una rifa because my sister she wanted to be, ella quería ser, Lawyer. abogado or a teacher. Yo también, yo quería ser a lawyer or a teacher. Ambas queríamos lo mismo. So we made a raffle. ¿Y qué creen que me tocó a mí? Teacher. Teacher. <laughs> ¿Y qué creen que le cayó a ella? Lawyer. That's lawyer. why she is a lawyer and I am a teacher. Creo que fue la suerte, el destino que nos... <laughs> decidió la carrera that's why, pero me encanta I really love it, no, no me veo como abogado ella sí también ama su profesión so, el destino, sé que si me consultan why did you become a teacher no idea a raffle, a raffle. <laughs> that's it <laughs> because I needed the money how about you, déjame usted de su información cuál es su ocupación ¿Y por qué? Why did you decide it? Or what did you become? ¿Por qué son lo que son ahorita? Because I really like it. This, this topic, I guess. Mm -hmm. And what is your occupation? I am, I am database administrator. All right. Yes, do you I really like love it. your job? Do you enjoy what you do? Yes, I enjoy my job. Okay. Really like you really like it. That's interesting. How about you guys? Yeah. Hey, que, que genial, que genial, Daniel. How about you guys? The rest of you. Uh, George, Oscar, Manuel. 
por qué estudiaron o por qué hacen lo que requiere su trabajo ahorita. Why? I love um, uh, solver problems. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, low information. In no. Sería. And what is your uh, occupation? Oh. Uh, Solver problem system. All right, interesting. Nice. So, why did job. you become? Um, is that an engineer? Are you like an engineer? Yeah. Yeah. How system I, engineer? I am engineer system. Okay, so why? Why did you become an engineer? A system engineer. Why? ¿Por qué se convirtió? ¿Por qué le gustó eso? Iba a ser como, ¿cómo te dice? Iba a ser. Iba a ser, I was. Ah, pues, I knew uh, that my career was very easy. It was easy, right? I think maybe six years ago. But it wasn't but easy. It was, but uh, it wasn't easy. Was 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 no fue fácil, it wasn't easy. O no era fácil, it wasn't easy. Ok, amazing. Very good. Miren otra pregunta. Analicemos la otra. How old were you in 2008? ¿Cuántos años tenían en el 2008? Pensemos. Let's go back in time. Esta vamos a hacer. ¿Cuántos años tenían? How old were you in 2008? Para ocupar el pasado. ¿Cuántos mm. años tenía? Quiero en mi caso. I don't remember. Oh, uh, was not born. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I was 24. You, you, ah, okay. I was 24, you said. You were 24. ¿Quién más? ¿Cuántos años tenían? How old were you in 2008? Mm, I think that I was, was 19. 19, okay. Excellent. Me too, 19. 19, okay. Ahí está, 19. Entonces, si yo... You, teacher. Ah, uh, 20, quiero ver, 18, 18, I was 18. I guess, right? Yeah, 18. Entonces ya ven, ocupamos el verbo para preguntar en pasado y la respuesta también en pasado. Perfect. ¿Qué otra podemos? Ah, esta creo que ya la consultamos en palabras. We were Or babies. Not. We were baby. We were young. We're still young, you know. We're young. <laughs> We were babies. He said, no, ya estamos en la U, ¿o no? No. ¿No? <laughs> ¿De cuántos <laughs> años entraron a la U? Oh, It's a secret. It's a secret. <laughs> Confidential <laughs> information, <laughs> <laughs> How old were you? Practiquemos. How old were you? Pero mira la pregunta. 
Pongámosle college, vaya, o university. ¿Cuántos años tenían cuando empezaron la U? How old were you when you started college? I was 18 years old. You were 18? All right. In my case, you know, I was 15. No, 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 18. I was 15. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was 15. So how about you guys? You were 18. With which age you can start the college? Uh, can you start the college? College, university. Ah, 15, when I was 15, yes. I was 21. You, oh, you were 21, amazing. Yeah. Okay. So, when I started, cuando inicié la escuela, tenía, I was five. Eso es lo que pasa. Inicié el primer grado de cinco años, that's why. Mi mamá me amaba mucho. That's it. No la quería en la casa. No la quería, ah, por eso me enviaron con mi hermano. Con la... Pero al final, pues, fue buena decisión. Was amazing. Ok. Último ejercicio, creo. ¿Qué hora es? What time is it? Ah, we still have 15 minutes. Match. Quiero que analicen estas preguntas. And you're going to match the questions with the answers. Hay palabras claves que me ayudan a saber la respuesta. For example, number one that we have, where were you born? Como cupo where, ¿qué espero de la respuesta? Un lugar. Mm -hmm, a place. In this case, we have this one with the information about place. ¿Dónde naciste? Um, in Kyoto, Japan. Ok, analícenla, les doy un minutito. No los envío a salas porque solo son tres. Entonces acá quédense. Les doy un minuto, analícenlas y luego vamos al speaking practice. Ah, chicos. We have six different questions. Six different questions right now. All right. ¿Cómo van con la plataforma? ¿Algún ejercicio que necesiten ayuda? Or did you already finished? Finish, teacher. I finished. Wow, because tomorrow is going to be the last class. Tomorrow. Teacher, do you want to continue with us in the other module? I really hope so. Fíjense que no me han dicho. Siempre me dicen como una semana antes of previous or previous days before we start. But why not? Me encantaría ser con ustedes, claro que sí. Así que esperemos que sí. <laughs> why? ¿Por qué, chicos? Because the teacher Okay. <risa> Vaya, quiero ver. Sí, vamos a ver si solicitamos, claro, que nos dejen con este grupo siempre. Vamos a ver. Vaya, número dos. Where did you grow up? Miren igual. Number two, que espero de respuesta. The same, a place. So, ya tenemos esta, así que no es esta. Look for the information. That's easy, right? Letter D. Letter D is the correct one. Number three. How was your first day of school? How was your first day of school? How was it? Uh -huh. What letter is it? Letter? Yes. That's all right. So, how was your first day of school? It was a little scary. Un poco. Mm -hmm. Cuatro, me dijeron letter A. Yes, that's it. Who was your first your best friend in school. Y la otra, number five. What was he like? What was he like? ¿Cómo era? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
He was really friendly. He was really friendly. In number six, we are still missing just one. Why did you take this class? I want to improve my English. Ah, okay. I want to improve my English. That's it. Miren esta pregunta, la número cinco. ¿A qué hace referencia? What was he like? ¿Qué consulta en sí? ¿Cómo la toman o cómo la traducen? Es lo que yo digo. O cómo es. Ajá, muy bien. Ese es el detalle. ¿Cómo es? ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Cómo era? Vale. Pero cuando describimos a una persona, podemos hacerlo refiriéndonos a la apariencia y a su forma de ser. Entonces, ¿qué creen que consulta es? ¿Qué cómo es? ¿En apariencia o en su no, forma, de, forma ser? de ser? Muy bien. Dice, he was really friendly. Entonces, esta pregunta es para apariencia. What is he like? O cómo es o en pasado. What was he like? A apariencia. Appearance. Y cómo pregunto entonces cómo luce físicamente una persona. I just look. Miren, what does he look like? Se parece mucho, pero hay una pequeña variante. Entonces, este es para... Espérenme. Appearance is a cam. Y acá es cómo es la persona. ¿Cómo le llamamos en español? Las, no las feelings, sino como Personal, la personalidad, personalidad, ¿verdad? Personalidad. Entonces, dos tipos de preguntas, igual en pasado. Si yo les digo, what did he look like? ¿Cómo lucía? Ahí tienen que describir, he was tall, he was thin, era delgado, alto. Dos tipos de preguntas. Ambos ocupan el verbo like. Y... No hace referencia a sus gustos. Entonces, ¿cómo pregunto qué le gusta o qué le gustaba? Porque también es con el verbo like. What does he like? Muy bien. What does he like? ¿Cómo sé entonces si me están consultando de sus gustos? ¿De apariencia o de personalidad? Personalidad. ¿Cómo sé entonces distinguir? Appearance when the person looks <risa> look. Ah, pero mire, se parece mucho la pregunta. What does he look, what does he, what does he like y what is he like? I think that it's about the Lo determina la, la W. Mm. WH pues. No, I think mm, that depends on the conversation. Ah, uh, not really, it's not the conversation. In sí. Ajá, dijeron por ahí el verbo to be, and that's it. Muy bien, el verbo to be es la diferencia. Que le gusta sería what does he like, y como luce sería what is he like. Entonces, verbo to be. What is for the person, personal. Ajá. Ahí está, esa es la diferencia. Ok, questions. Pregúntate de este ejercicio. Questions, questions, questions. You don't have questions, right? Ok, revisemos eh, la última. Si se fijan, tenemos... Creo que esto ya lo vieron, no sé. Módulos anteriores. ¿Cómo nosotros expresamos los años en inglés? Muchas veces cuando hablamos del pasado... We are going to make reference of years. No solo hacemos referencia de años, sino momentos en el pasado, pero la mayoría lo ocupamos siendo específicos, diciendo los años. Por ejemplo, si alguien me pregunta, when were you born? ¿Cuándo naciste? Okay. Puedo ser específico, I was born in... O puedo decir una década, tal vez. Nací en los 90, nací en los 80. Pero casi siempre la información es específica. And we are going to use specific information saying years. 
¿Cómo decimos entonces los años en inglés? Clases, si ya lo aprendimos en módulos anteriores. Si no, consultemos. Well, are you? For, for example, I, uh -huh. I was born, I, 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 I was born. Ah, ok, vale, pero basémonos en esto. How do we read years in English? ¿Cómo los leemos? ¿Cómo los leemos? ¿Cómo leemos? Por ejemplo, ¿cómo leen este? Ah, ok, 1990. How about this one? 1980. En el caso de este. Piense que hay una pequeña en qué modo creo que fue Twenty O One ahí está correcto creo que fue en el principiante uno en donde venía esta información principiante uno para los años 2000 hasta el 20 sí, hasta el 2010 del 2000 al 2010 ustedes pueden expresar la información en dos maneras the first one la primera que es lo más común leer de dos en dos dos dígitos, dos dígitos o en estos años ustedes pueden leerlo como 2000 y le agregan el end y luego el dígito que siga 2001 2002 2003 o pueden decir 2001 2002 2003 ¿Okay? acá si sí cambiamos el cero por la pronunciación de la vocal o oh. para leer los años si decimos o oh, no decimos zero ¿Okay? lo mismo pasaría si quisiéramos expresar eh, los años 3000 4000 5000 dos formas de leerlos 3000 en 4000 en o oh, leer de dos en dos pero creo que está bien difícil que lleguemos a los 3000 entonces, como apenas iniciamos los años 2000, 2001, con eso se da esa tendencia. Acá tienen un ejemplo. 2015 or 2015. Entonces, todos los años. Se hacía referencia hasta el 2010, porque antes era muy común. Very common, just to read this one. Leer como la forma completa. 2015. Este tipo de adaptaciones igual se ha ido haciendo eh, durante el tiempo. De leer ya dos dígitos y dos dígitos. Ok, clase. Pregunta sobre esta información. ¿Cómo decimos los años en inglés? How do we express or how do we read years in English? Is it clear? ¿Quedó claro? Yes. Vaya, si es así, tomemos por el tiempo solo dos ejemplos de acá. Eh, Danilo, give me two numbers. Dos números from one to six. 